crossover in transition behind the back out all the way in scoop it up with the left hand McCain is cooking he's got 19 the Blue Devils led wire to wire and in the end they win it by 37 and improved to 9 and 3 on the year setting the table for ACC play on Tuesday night against Syracuse we had a team meeting uh, after the Georgia Tech game and it was just like we have to find our real identity and like we have to know each and everyone's like how they play, uh, how they can get open, how can they play defense well, how can we communicate with each other better. And we really found it with those few weeks of practice we had. Um, we found our identity on offense and the defensive end. For offense, it was really just sharing the ball. Like we, we have such, we would put the three guard lineup, like having three guards on the court is so helpful. Uh, driving kicks, we all can shoot it. So we had to play to our strengths, and just sharing the ball has been huge for us. And then defensively, I know for me personally, like I'm not playing as well uh, on defense as I can be. So just like focusing in and controlling what I can control on defense, and like just playing as hard as I can, like that's been huge for me. So I think our defense has just been picked up. That's probably been the biggest thing for us. And then when we continue that, our offense just flows, and it's perfect. seconds to go and that will do it what a night in the garden the Blue Devils take it by a 78 to 70 they jumped out in the first half by 10 in the second half they fell behind by as many as six but then they rallied to take it by eight I looked at the Baylor game as an example of how we matured you know that was one of the first games that I thought we were the aggressor throughout. You know, we came out, I thought we threw the first punch, I thought we initiated the, uh, the first hit. And because of that, we were the tougher team overall. I'm not saying they weren't, but I thought that night for us, we became the tougher team. And a lot of these games, that's what it comes down to. And a specific moment in that game was when Baylor made, they made a couple runs, but they made one run where they extended the lead to six points. And I think for last year's team, a lot of the guys that are back from that team, that's the game we lose. And uh, game, we would hang our heads and not sure if we could come back. And for us in this huddle, it was completely different. You know, the, the guy, Jeremy especially was in the huddle and all the players were just talking, here's what we need to do to, to get back in it. And sure enough, came back out, executed, scored, and then sh uh, slowly chipped away the lead and uh, regained it until Ryan Young did his thing. Caleb for Young. 40 to go in a tie game. Jeremy off of a screen at the free throw line, bounces it to Young, goes up and scores. What a way to have a thousand points in your career. 63 to 61, the Blue Devils have the lead again with five and a half minutes to go. Such a nice connection between Jeremy and Ryan Young to give them the lead. Coach Shire, like he, he talked about it, it was just our veterans. Like I, I trust Jeremy. Um, Tyrese obviously wasn't able to play, but um, looking up to Jeremy, and he was my roommate there, so just seeing what he does before the game, um, during the game, like we, they, Baylor had went on a run, and um, Coach Shire looked at Jeremy, and Jeremy knew what to do. He just was, let's stay poised, and then we're, we're going to come back. And, you know, having that as a freshman, having that leader has been huge for me, just to be able to look up to somebody, and um, that was huge for the Baylor game, and I think that's that point where we have those leaders step up, our veterans, Ryan Young, Flip, um, Jeremy, Reese when he comes back, uh, just to be able to lead us into uh, a great season. McCain lobs it for Filipowski, catches up top, looks to the left, there's Caleb Foster, instead he'll dump it in the corner for McCain, how about a three? Yes, sir! Just what the Blue Devils needed, a nice little shot fake, and McCain hits nothing but net to bring the Blue Devils within one. 54 53 as we approach the midway point of the second half. Everybody on their feet at the garden. Love off of a screen at the right elbow. Froman got inside, high off the window. No, tap follow, no. And Flip has 
the rebound. And a chance to retake the lead. Foster off of a screen sent by Blip. He'll take another one to the left. Caleb goes inside, scoops it up and in! And the Blue Devils have the lead! Knowing time and score is such a valuable thing. And, you know, two of our three losses, we're winning with under a minute to go against Arizona, and we're winning under two minutes to go against Georgia Tech. And so understanding time and score, how to get a great shot off, uh, how to play defense all the way through the shot clock, all those things matter. But those experiences that we've had at the start of the season has paid off and it's made us tougher, I think smarter. We got ways to go, uh, but it's been incredibly valuable, particularly because of the attitude our guys have had to get better, to address the weaknesses, to address the areas they need to grow. Duke All Access is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness isn't about what you've done, it's about what you do next. By Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. And by Coke Zero Sugar. They say Coke Zero is irresistibly tasty. Does that make it the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. And the handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental. Welcome to the smart choice in tires. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. And just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, save $30 on the GTA 26 handheld battery pruner. Real steel. Find yours. I need to try it first. Yeah. So if you're thinking about coming to Duke, whether it's basketball, soccer, football, any sport really like, this place just brings out the best in people. What basketball player would not want to be here? I love this. I love this, man. Can't wait to play in Cameron. It's about to be, it's about to be rocking. One-on-one, -on -one, he'll take it himself and lay it in through contact. Cross court, fed McCain, catches, steps closer, and hits a two. McCain between the legs, right side of the paint, scooping off the window for two more. Stolen by McCain, five on four, he'll launch, bang! Timeout Syracuse! Jaron McCain roars to life, and the lead balloons to 13. There's a few mantras I live by. Um, there's control what you can control and uh, never get too high, never get too low. So even when I have a great game, just kind of always continue to work. I asked uh, Steph Curry this at his camp and I was just like, how do you deal with pressure? And uh, when you're going through a shooting slump, he was just like, I continue to work and I trust my work. 
And that's just, I just try to apply that to my life and everything I do. Jared really comes to practice every single day. And he may have days he misses shots or doesn't play his best. He's never had a bad day though. His attitude is off the charts. He's been as consistent as any worker, uh, as any player that's come through here in terms of showing up every single day. He has a routine that he does. He has a great spirit about him. He's always talking, he's bringing energy. Uh, and because of that, he gives you energy. And uh, he's, he's just a, an amazing competitor, an amazing teammate to have in our building every single day. Taylor Foster here, finishing up our workout, watching a master at work. A master at work, catch a shoot, sniper, bro. He's a master at work right here. If for you, all you Duke fans, young kids that are coming up trying to figure out how to go to Duke, just, just watch and follow Mr. McCain, man. He's, he's really special, man. He does everything the right way. Mechanics are really good. Look, jump stop, hold the follow through. Money. Yes, sir, Shimani. Yes, sir. Watch this, water. Hey, that was beautiful. Well, you know, one thing about Jared is he's a freshman. So, you know, you're going to have your up and down. You're going to have your highs and your lows in the season. But the best thing about him also is his mindset and his work ethic. You know, ever since he got here in the summer in June, he's been one of our hardest workers. So, you know, those guys you always feel eventually it's going to click and eventually it's going to work for him. Uh, but also there is a learning curve with being a freshman. So sometimes it takes – each freshman different from when it will click and when it won't click and uh, when they're able to adjust. And he's done a good job of just staying the path and keeping his head down and working. Uh, he has a great energy about him. Um, he's one of our best talkers and best, you know, leaders in the sense of bringing it every day. So he's a joy to work with. Here's Roach out near midcourt. Listen to this crowd. Jeremy looks to the bench, tend to shoot. Young sets the screen. The captain for Young on a drive to the right. McCain a three. Big time! Jared McCain with his third three of the game, and the Blue Devils open it up by seven. Timeout, Baylor. 3.55 to go. The Garden in a frenzy. There's really no words to describe it. I mean, I'm in New York at Christmas time. Um, going to see the Rockefeller tree tomorrow, so I'm just... <laughs> I'm excited. I'm just, this is just a surreal moment. I, I visualize a lot of stuff. I visualize this coming into the locker room celebrating, and uh, it happened. And it's just, there's no words to describe it. It was amazing. I feel like I've worked, I've worked so hard for these moments that when I get in the moments, I'm just, I just trust my work. And I know um, whether it's just my stamina, um, being, being in the gym late nights, early mornings, um, being able to just be in those moments and embrace them. I feel like I, I've, I've worked so hard for these moments, and uh, it was a perfect time for me to just have fun out there. McCain a three! Big time! Especially for meditation, um, that's been huge for me, even with high school. Uh, just to stay grounded and stay present, like that's been a, a big one for me, just being present every single moment. Uh, whenever you start worrying about something else in the future, it's like that can always mess up your day. So anytime I start worrying about something, I'm just like, let's just be present and just have fun in every moment I have. Um, but the meditation calms me down, especially in like high pressure situations. Like we're in Baylor, Madison Square Garden, like there's so much pressure that comes with that. But knowing that I can just always come back to my breath and do box breathing, um, certain techniques that I use throughout, throughout the game um, to calm me down and just know that I, I, I belong here. It's not about preparation or anything. It's about in the, in the game or in the practice, just being wired, ready to shoot. Like, don't be, don't be passing up shots. Jared has never made an excuse the entire time he's been here. So he allows you to coach him hard. The growth he's made on both ends of the ball, not just offense and getting a shot off quicker and being more efficient with his dribbles. But on the defensive end, how he competes, uh, keeping guys in front, his awareness off the ball, being in the right position, uh, he's just grown and really in every aspect in terms of being a player. And it's not done. I know he's got a long way to go still, but with his attitude, I know he's gonna get there. Being physical, like I know the ACC play, it's already started and it's already been super physical for me. So in the summer, uh, getting in the weight room, getting stronger, playing off two feet has been huge for me. So just little certain things that, you know, you can get by in high school just cause I'm bigger than some people, but now everyone's bigger, everyone's stronger. So 
Um, just learning and taking stuff from Coach Shire and the coaching staff and applying it to my game. McCain, an offensive rebound and a fresh 20. To the left, it's Roach. To the right corner, McCain. Step to the left, launches and hits. The inbound McCain on the right, hits a three. His fourth of the day. A strong move for Mark Mitchell. And it's eight to four now, a steal by McCain off the inbound. Left side three, count it. Big time play by Jared McCain. Heads up on defense. I knew the college level was going to be different. There's obviously ups and downs, especially as a freshman. And I've um, definitely been through both. Um, had some lows, had some highs. So just trying to stay as consistent as possible. But uh, going into 2024, just trying to be me and play my play how I have been playing since I was a little kid, just knocking down open shots and uh, playing smart. I've always been a good, smart player, just make the right play. For Roach, what a find, bobbled it, looks for help. Why not find McCain? Another three! Oh, he's sizzling! Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. Then just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Duke's new century cries out for a university where the drive to discover is not hemmed by disciplinary logics. Where philosophers work side by side with physicians and physicists. Where nurses find inspiration in narrative theory. Where mechanical engineers team up with marine biologists or musicians. I believe Duke will continue to be that university together. When you're injured, you should not be ignored by the insurance company. We know the amount seems low, but this is what your case is worth. Just click here. We understand you can't work. Click the bottom. You want more. Call a law firm that will fight for the justice you deserve. You weren't going to click that, were you? Tell them you mean business. Call the law offices of James Scott Farron on the Hurt Line right now. You can have live college sports in your hand this year with the brand new Varsity Network app. Hear live, play by play, and keep up with your favorite teams and audio broadcasts no matter where you are with this free new app. Be sure to download the Varsity Network app today. Duke Basketball 360, presented by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. Roach has it, nine to shoot. Looking for Filipowski, nothing to it. Flip doing battle inside with Misi. Meanwhile, it's Roach on the drive, scoop it up. Good night! Jeremy Roach closes the proceedings. The lead is 13, 113 to go. You know, our team's very, very fortunate to have four or five players on the court at once that can make good decisions with the ball. That they can pass, uh, they can dribble, they can shoot. Ryan would be the exception. He really doesn't step out and shoot, but everybody else does. Everybody else can handle and make good decisions. And so towards the end of the game, you know, we just had to take control and get a great shot every time down. And, uh, you know, Jeremy, he's uh, had a knack for making big plays throughout his entire career at Duke. Uh, Ryan Young, of course, the finishing, uh, the rebounding, and then the passing that he showed down the stretch was key. And if you notice in all those plays, there, there was great spacing. You know, yet we, we were very disciplined with our spacing and making sure we were ready in our spots for kickouts and making sure the defense had to guard us on the perimeter, which opened up drives for the basket. Well, this two-man game with Jared and Flip has been great for us. And when we have the empty side, it really, you put the big in a position. Do they help up or do they stay with the roller? And it's a great read and a great pass by Jared for the dunk for Flip. Another two-man game. And we've been working on our finishing, going stronger. And you see on this one, I love Caleb knocking Missy back here, knocking the big guy back. And we call it a four-coach finish where he goes in strong and 
it's a big time move in a big time situation. Okay, this is one of the best plays because Jeremy made the read. He saw the mismatch with Flip and really just said, Coach, forget the play. Let's just throw it to him. And Flip did a great job of having poise and then making a strong move through contact. This, this was a big step for us as a team because we continued to play. You know, the play was over, and this is our drive and kick game. And for Caleb not to play with the ball and just to get by, it's a, it's a special move and a great finish, and we needed that, that bucket at that time. And then this two-man game with Ryan Young and Jeremy Roach was great. You know, there was Ryan, uh, there was his 1,000th point in college. And then the screen set the whole thing up, and then Jeremy having poise. You know, we call it having poise in the pocket, and Jeremy had that. Same thing here, having poise. Ryan sets a good screen, and the pace that Jeremy comes off to get separation uh, really made the whole play. Again, you see right there, he puts his defender in jail gets space and then attacked. And then right here, the spacing that we had was key. And then Ryan making sure he set the angle of the screen the right way. It really set up this pocket pass by Jeremy. And it's a, it's a we call it a hockey assist. It's a, it's a potential assist, but it's a hockey assist. So Jeremy's the one that should get the credit is he gave it to Ryan and then Ryan makes a special pass to Jared for an open three. And I love the way that Jared's hands were ready, calling for the ball and you just felt like it was going in. And then this wasn't much of a two-man game either, but it was Jeremy having the initiative to know time and score and not to play with the ball and then go on a straight line right to the rim. It's a great move. The buzzer beater, that moment when time stands still. Our collective breath held as the ball hovers above the rim. But almost a third of those shots were set up by a passer who made the smart choice. Throwing an assist takes trust, IQ, and total confidence in your decision. And the greatest one? My pass to Leitner in 92 wasn't too bad. Continental, the smart choice in tires. These mascots represent some of the most heated rivalries in college sports. What could possibly bring them all together? Everyone agrees on the best team in smart home security. CPI. Statistically, the world is losing color. But who wants a gray world when we could have this? Honey yellow, peri pinkle, indigo. Things stay the same when the same is where you stay. But in hundreds of Delta destinations, simply opening your eyes can open your world. I wanted to work with a supplier partner I respect. I wanted a partner who respected me. We needed a partner with employees who care as much as we do. We needed a partner who values relationships. I wanted a partner that would help me grow my business. We needed a partner that would help us succeed. SRS Distribution delivers more than building products. SRS delivers customer success. As the saying goes, a lot can change in a day, a week, and most certainly a month. It's been exactly one month since the Blue was open league play in Atlanta. A gut-wrenching 72-68 loss to the Yellow Jackets that saw Duke not only lose the game, but their starting point guard, Tyrese Proctor, would suffer an ankle injury that kept him sidelined for the better part of December. But as is so often the case, with adversity comes opportunity. And in these last four weeks, John Shire's group has seized that chance, reeling off four straight wins, aided by contributions from just about everybody. It's the kind of collective effort that is needed in the gauntlet that is conference play. And with Tyrese now back in the fold, the Blue 
Eagles are eager to resume their journey through the ACC in the first of 19 straight league games comes tonight against the Orge. Once, twice, penetrates all the way in. Oh, what a scoop off the left side with his right hand. Wants to drop, cut off, spin, steps through, put it up, blocked by Blakes, got it back, stripped by Proctor, and here we go the other way, five on three. Ropes to the left for Mitchell, slicing in, he's fouled, give it to him! And a chance for three! Reese behind the back of the dribble, into the paint, trying to change that. What a find to Mitchell, behind the back! Mitchell Tyrese turns the corner, got into the paint, get it back to Mitchell, soaring in for two! Facing up top of the key to the left, McCain, a good look from three, and that's their first of the night. Catches on the baseline, what a find to Mitchell, spins, oh! And he throws it down! Foster to the free throw line, lob it into Filipowski, nice catch, go up, and he'll dunk it down. Miller Bell goes inside on Filipowski, threw it away, trying to feed the corner, Foster took it away. Two on one, it's Roach on the drive, put it off the window and in. Jeremy Roach has seven. Brown tried to throw it off of him. Now you got a three on two. Proctor gonna launch and hit a three. With it for Copeland, hot potato, and out of there with it is Proctor at that. Four on three to the right, McCain. How about a three? Yes, sir. Looking inside for Filipowski, catches in front of Brown. Surveys the defense, puts it on the deck, going to work on Brown. Steps through, lowers the shoulder, and hits in the paint. Lobbed it, hit the front of the rim. And now out of there with it is Caleb Foster ahead to Jeremy Roach to tuck it down. The Blue Devils led by two at intermission. They hang 51 on the orange in the second stanza. And in the end, they win it by 20. 86 to 66, the final score. They hit 75% of their shots in the second half, including all eight of their three pointers after going 0 for 9 from deep in the first 20 minutes. I told our team after the game, it, we have to learn how to win together. You know, it's uh, these games are, when you play conference games, they're just different. And, uh, you know, teams really know you well. You have a history there of how, what you've done three years, three years ago against each other or two years ago and uh, what worked last year against a certain player. And so there's the, the game plans are more detailed. Uh, it means more, and so you have to learn how to grind games out, uh, how to play against different defenses. And I thought tonight we took a step in, in learning how to win. And uh, even though we have a core group returning from last year, you know, we had four freshmen play tonight. And uh, this was, like the Georgia Tech game feels like forever ago in a lot of respects. And so for the four of them, they're learning how to win and how to defend together. And uh, that's really what it's about for me. So I thought tonight was, was the right step, and now we need to build from it.